Welcome back. Today I will show you how to use paint tools to populate color, textures and foliage on your terrain. There are two types of painter, geometry, texture painter and foliage painter. Usually, geometry texture painter will be automatically created when you add the first terrain into the scene. If not, right-click on the hierarchy window, select 3D object, Griffin, tools, geometry, texture painter. This tool let you paint geometry, color and textures by hand. In the inspector window, you can see there are several parameters, where group ID specifies which terrain group it takes effect on. There are also many paint mode to choose from, including, elevation, height sampling, subdivision, visibility, albedo, metallic, smoothness, splats, and more in future updates. Under instruction foldout, you can see a small guide specific to each paint mode. Under brush masks foldout, you can select the shape of your brush. Under splat foldout, you can select which texture to apply. This foldout only visible in splat mode. Under brush foldout, you can control your brush properties like radius, rotation and opacity, with randomness control via the jitter parameters. To paint, hold your left mouse button over the terrain. You can combine with control or shift key to do some additional action. This depends on your paint mode. Some paint mode requires your terrain and material to be configured correctly. For example, to use Splat Painter, your terrain must have a Splat prototype group assigned and your material must support for Splat Maps blending. Please see the manual for more detail. Similarly, Foliage Painter let you populate trees and grasses, detail objects to the environment. Usually, it will be automatically added into the scene. If not, right-click on the Hierarchy window, select 3D Object, Griffin, Tools, Foliage Painter. To use the Foliage Painter, your terrain must have a Tree Prototype Group and Grass Prototype Group assigned. Foliage Painter let you add some randomness as well as conditional painting, using its filters. Under the Filters foldout, click on Add Filters, and select some of them depend on your need. See the manual to learn more about them. That would cover the most basic thing of paint tools. In the next video, we will learn how to extend it using C-Sharp script. See you later.